closing comments for Wednesday, July the 7th. The markets yesterday were sharply lower. With some recovery today, beans are going to close up about 25 cents. Wheat's going to be about unchanged and corn only down about 8 cents with expanded limits today in both corn and beans of 60 cents in corn and $1.50 in beans. So did stabilize a little bit, still calling for rain out west. Uh, some rain has fallen, some more is predicted. Rain called for also in the eastern Corn Belt, the southeast, and the Midwest. So a lot of rain predicted. The market will watch this to see whether it happens or not to make a decision. Yesterday's crop condition reports came out. The corn conditions were at 64%, that's unchanged from last week, and 7% below last year. Indiana was unchanged at 73%. Illinois down three at 65, Ohio up nine at 80, Michigan up four at 65, Iowa down up two at 62, Minnesota down two at 41, Nebraska unchanged at 82, South Dakota unchanged at 24, and North Dakota down five at 35%. Corn silking, we have Illinois at 14%, Indiana at 7%, uh, Ohio at three, Iowa at four, Minnesota at five, Nebraska at 2, uh, South Dakota at 2, and North Dakota at 0. On the soybean side, the conditions were expected to be up slightly, and they were down 1%, the closing at 59% good to excellent. That's down, like I said, 1% from the previous week. That's 12% below last year, so quite a bit lower. We are seeing Dr. Cardania come out with lowering his bean yield from 50.8 to 50. He dropped his corn yield, I didn't mention earlier, from... 177 and a half to 175 and a half. Soybean conditions uh, this week had Indiana down one at 70, Illinois down four at 63, Illinois, uh, Ohio up nine at 77, Michigan up three at 62, Iowa up one at 59, Minnesota down one at 44, Nebraska down three at 80. South Dakota down 2 at 24, and North Dakota down 6 at 19. Soybeans blooming at this time, Indiana at 22%, Illinois at 22%, Ohio 39%, Michigan 12%, Iowa 39%, Minnesota 38%, Nebraska 46%, South Dakota 19%, and North Dakota at 14%. Soybeans setting pods is just getting started. Uh, Iowa leading the way at 5% in the Midwest. Wisconsin 3, Minnesota 2, Nebraska 2, Indiana at 1%. So just getting a good start on this pod set. Spring wheat conditions came out again, and I, I continue to look at these wheat conditions in the upper Midwest and try to figure out how corn can be even as close to as good as it is. Wheat conditions for spring wheat down 4% for the week at 16%. Looking at the state breakdown, Minnesota is the leader at 35. That's up 6% from the previous week, but below last year at 77. South Dakota at 7%, good to excellent. That's down 3, below last year at 68. North Dakota at 18%, good to excellent, down 2. That's down from 61 last year. Montana at 7%, down 14% for the week. That's down below 82% last year. Idaho at 18% good, down 3% for the week compared to 69% last year. Oregon unchanged at 16, 44 last year. And Washington up one at 8 compared to 86 last year. So when you look at those wheat conditions on spring wheat, I'm not sure how this corn crop and bean crop out west can be doing much of anything. 97% um, of the wheat in Minnesota is headed, 68% in North Dakota, 84% in South Dakota, and only 50% in Montana, where they're down to 7% good to excellent. So it'll be interesting. Winter wheat conditions, uh, Indiana was at 78% up 2. Illinois down 7 at 74. Ohio up 3 at 75. Michigan down 13 at 46. Wisconsin up 1 at 76. And harvest is moving along at a good pace. Indiana at 44% up 19. That's below average of 55 Illinois at 87, that's 5% above average, up 24% for the week. Ohio at 30%, that's up 27% for the week, but still behind average of 43. Uh, Michigan hasn't started, 0%, and uh, Wisconsin at 4%. 
So as you can see, crop conditions out west continue to deteriorate. Crop conditions in the east get good with Ohio really getting strong this week. Crops locally are starting to look better. We, we need a little shower after we get to the weed harvest. If you have any questions, feel free to call. Thanks for watching.